Who's calling that shit? Who's calling that shit? Who's calling that shit? Who's calling that shit? Who? 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 The seas, while I'm hiding close, see. Look at me, I be one deep. Think I'm worried I'm comfy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Settings. How we aim train? You need good settings. You have some fucking bullshit on here. Your giant gun is on the screen. Sorry, aim labs. We're gonna start with you. Ah, uh, you. I don't know why you guys put that giant gun on the screen. I know you're trying to sell skins and stuff, but like, I mean, come on, guys. Like, little competitiveness. I get the guns on the screen in game, but we this this gotta go. So I'm gonna go by one. We're gonna go down the list. I'm gonna explain them. Um. Give some detail why you should do specific stuff. If I didn't go over a setting that you guys didn't see, maybe your fucking game version's different. Comment it. I'll discuss it. I'll, I'll you know, I'll write you a little comment. Get your answer. Um, but yeah, watch the shit. If you don't know what the fuck you're doing, if you're learning, if you're starting, most people that are good at aiming have all this stuff set up. But even so, I still see like some weird settings. Like I'll coach somebody that is pretty dang good at aiming, but they uh. They have kind of a hard time with some of this stuff. It's honestly limiting them. So, we don't want to get limited. We want the max. We want best performance, most efficiency. Alright. Starting off, game profile. Anything but aim labs. Don't put it on this shit. This is bad. Anything else, Valorant, OWCS, Fragpunk, whatever you like. I don't know what the point of this is. Honestly, it's all the same. 103 is default. Always run this. If a version is, you know, scenario is nice and wide, I'm getting a lot of questions about FOV um, often. Uh, I don't know how so many people misconstrued it for the whole community. Wide FOV is not going to change the amount of distance you're moving your mouse. It's the exact same movements. Nothing's different. It's literally just, just wider. You're going to see more. I like to do it sometimes. Maybe put it to like 115 um, or like 110. Just a little bit adds a lot. ADS, I keep ADS off. I almost never ADS unless I have to for a scenario. Uh, usually about 90 is fine. Um, there's not many ADS um, requirements for competition. Sense randomizer, hell no. Um, always have all of these on so we can see as many as possible. Definitely have it on advanced. I'm going to go over why we need that in this tab. Um, same with field of view options so we can change them. Have some uh, control. And always do centimeters. I mean, inches is just too too big to measure centimeters a lot better all right that centimeter thing this is your sensitivity a lot of people think it's this number this sensitivity which it is but it's different on each game and that's not a good way to measure this is a good way to measure this is this is the the one of the most important things that you should understand before you really start grinding aim trainers is what the actual movements are like what literally on your desk are you doing to make a movement what real distance are we doing and it's gonna it's gonna help a lot in terms of what sense you want to use how you want to use your mouse pad space um, a lot of people really really undermine this idea of what your sensitivity really is and you guys should not be passing this up what does that really mean well we use this mouse pad over here i've been playing on this or normally i'd play on this and then in Valorant, i just type one two six and there's my sense and then if i switch to overwatch I type 64.4 cm and I have the exact same identical sense to the 10th centimeter to the 100th of a centimeter as long as you uh, have a mouse that can support that kind of DPI which we'll also go over but yeah this is very important please 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 don't undermine this number and I would say a nice minimum if you're playing any game is like 36 or 38 centimeters anything lower than this is just honestly awful and annoying to play with it's gonna be so much harder to do micro adjustments you're going to still be able to move fast. Everybody's like, how am I going to aim quickly if my sensor is so low? Which this isn't, this is very fast. I would say low is like 70 or 80. Um, but yeah, minimum like 36 centimeters for almost all games. Very playable. There's nothing, nothing wrong with it. But yeah, changeable in every game very important in real life you know you move 64 centimeters you make it 360 pretty explainable here it even explains it for you going down we got no hip bar scaling got no ads scaling i made sure to shut these off I'm not trying to aim in very much 
Um, and scaling isn't like your sensitivity changing. We don't want the sensor change. I want the exact same movements whether I'm aiming it or not. I don't like to have them start switching on me. 1600 base minimum. Uh, if you're playing 800, if you're playing 400, 1200 for some weird reason. 1600 default. There's no reason to go faster. It starts getting a little weird for your sense here because if I played like, you know, some ridiculous um dpi like i played like 6000 dpi or something you can see here when i type in my cm my sense is so much lower of a number and we can't accurately depict my sensitivity very well in game um having such a high dpi so 1600 where you leave it it's also how fast your mouse is going to detect movements at this point it's of like 0.5 milliseconds it's not going to be any feelable difference at 800 it's about um i believe it was like 8 millisecond difference and then 400 is almost 20 30 milliseconds so this is going to be what you want to play on until we get a thousand hertz monitors um as for crosshair i like small stuff dots plus signs um usually nothing uh no open center so like even this is like no good so nice and simple um a lot of dots are very small once you start really aiming so we want to be able to see those dots any color is good you know just make it uh different from your background and different from your targets as for targets, I think uh, I literally just have default right now, red and blue. Um, on audio here, a lot of this is very unimportant. Um, and I'm going to go over some audio stuff in terms of actually aiming. It's also the same on Kovacs. I'll explain um, it better on Kovacs, honestly. Um, I have some custom hit sounds. You can pull them off of Kovacs. Sorry to, again, connect you, you aim trainers. I know you're a little bit of competitors. So I hope we can uh, you know share a little bit here. But um, yeah, a lot of other aim trainers have audio files. You can just toss them right in here. Um, if it's not a, a dot .ogg, you can transfer it as a dot .ogg within um, within like some application or something. Always have hit sounds on. Hit sounds are very good, and we want this hit sound cooldown to be a lot lower. This is gonna allow your hit sounds to actually be playing. Because um, if it's too high, it's gonna overlap, and you won't be able to hear all your hits accurately. Um, and we want to hear when you're hitting hitting the, the dot, right? Because the second you stop hitting the dot, you're going to know, oh, I'm not hitting the dot. I hear no hit sounds. Um, a lot of people play with no audio or they just blast music. I guess it's fine. But it is pretty useful if you're grinding. Um, as for this stuff, not not too much to worry about. Again, I shut everything off besides basically just hit sounds. It's kind of the only thing I care about. Why do I need to hear a bunch of other stuff? Again, sorry for you devs putting in the, into the game uh, for people to use and then me just tell you to shut it off. Uh, graphic stuff. I'm on 540 hertz. Um, you guys should try to use your highest. If it's not the highest, please go check it. So many people are on 60 hertz when they have a 240 hertz monitor or a 360 hertz monitor. I mean, when you're buying 360 hertz, you're gonna know how to change it. But um, always do performance. Once you do hit do low latency, it starts frame stuttering, and it really isn't low latency. This is still plenty fast. It's not gonna have any delay. Do performance. You'd think this would be the better one, but it really isn't. It just kind of pulls your frames and makes it not very good. Um, I'd say it does honestly the exact opposite. Um, I limit my frames a little higher than my monitor refresh rate. I don't need seven, eight hundred frames, two thousand frames. So we log it right here. Um, I do max settings for fantastic and shut every special effects off. All this stuff is just extra. It's in the way. We don't want that. Um, for visuals, I think I just have a dark theme. Nothing special. Um, a lot of ways to get good themes. They have a lot of themes already saved here. I don't use anything special. As long as I can see the dot, it should be fine. Um, here's a big one. This is something that people think they should have, but it actually doesn't really matter because you have to just, it's just, it's literally just a timer. It's like literally like taking your time away for some reason. I don't know. Maybe they want to farm people's minutes on aim labs. Um, put it to zero. Don't, don't waste time waiting for a, literally just a number to go down. I don't know. I have really no idea why this even exists. Honestly, I'm, they really should take it out. Um, first person, of course, weapon visibility should be on hide. If you guys uh have weapon viz on i don't know why you'd have weapon viz on but people still play with it for some reason uh you should don't want to recoil you don't want sway it's not like a match i'm gonna see the gun um really the only thing in key bindings that matter are your restart key at the bottom here i think it's default f6 change it to whatever you usually just change it to r i mean you're not going to need to reload and if you do reload in a, a scenario you should probably just restart anyway so yeah restarts on um spam that restart key abuse it always restart um not too much else here for key bindings i know there's some lean scenarios so you know r6 settings run with that 
Uh, most everything else here is pretty default, though, in terms of uh, how you'd move around in FPS. All right, we're going to do Kovacs next. Kovac settings. All right. Kovac settings. What should be you running? Mostly the same stuff as Aim Labs. 103 default. Uh, um, frames a little higher than my monitor. Uh, same thing in here. Have your sensitivity set to what it needs to be. If you notice on Aim Labs, it was also 126, 1600 DPI. I calculate always the same. So it shows same system. Always works. Um, I have a slightly smaller crosshair than default. Again, small little dot plus sign something you can see as for this show weapon let that off get that shit out of here shoot sounds we don't want shoot sounds we don't need to hear when the gun shoots i'm gonna click my gun i'm gonna click that trigger my left click we're gonna hear it we don't we don't want to hear it hit markers been one off that's just extra i know when we hit the dot we're gonna have hit sounds to hear the dot uh for video settings i got most of this stuff on high so we can see the dot's not so blurry. I want us to really be able to see the entire thing perfectly. Um, visuals. I've got a lot of themes in here. You can kind of just pick from one you like. Just go through, click them. I've got this right now, as you can see. Some wood, pink dots. Nothing crazy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Alright, so visuals. This is the bullet hole thing. We don't want this. We put this to zero. It's going to be normally on five. I think it holds your bullet hole duration for like five seconds or something. Yeah, we, you don't want to see bullet holes in the wall. It's uh, pretty annoying. So make sure you shut this off. I see a lot of people don't never can find the setting. Um, this is the setting. This is the one you wanna wanna do. Uh, enemy colors again the pink. Team colors. I, I don't think I've ever even ever seen a scenario that has teams. So doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, here's the stuff that matters. As for sounds, um, lot and a lot to pick from. Usually somewhere in the boops and the beeps and the blops. Something you want to go with. Some shoot sounds. And again, you can pull these out of uh, the files and put them in aim lab. It's not too hard to do. It's pretty easy. You want to hit sounds. You want to head hit sounds. Make them a little different from each other. You do want to know when some, uh, some scenarios have head hitting scenarios like targets. So if you don't have it and they're the same, you're not sure if you're uh, getting more score out of a head or not. It makes it a little easier. Um, kill confirmed, have the kill confirmed setting. Sometimes there's um, static Pokeball scenarios, and they don't have uh, any sound for hits. So, But they, have, they do have a kill confirmed sound, so keep this on. Um, nothing here that really matters. Again, you want this cooldown to be low. Either 0.1, 01, or 2. It's pretty good. As for ui and stuff um some stuff that could be useful for instance i like to use my bar to see if i'm actually hitting my scores or not for okay and bad have them as the same color so just down a little bit on the settings and then for good just some some color you like blue green yellow whatever you think is good but make sure these two colors are the same we don't care if we're almost hitting our score we want to know if we're we're gonna beat it we don't care if we're hitting our average so make sure that's changed um, as for being in here, I think they actually started defaulting everything correctly, but you can go through and just kind of be like off, off, on, on. Um, and yeah, I'll just go through these real slow so you guys can see. But just copy these exactly. It's everything you need and uh, removes clutter. And then uh, as for this stuff, this is how you move it around. You literally just grab it, move it, make it smaller, whatever you like to do. Um, so yeah, moving around what you like. And then, um, nothing on here really matters. Um, every day you open your Kovacs, it'll update. Set this to one week. This would be in hours. So 168 hours a week, one week. You don't want your Kovacs updating these special scenarios every single day. And then you have to wait for them to load. So it's just annoying. So... Um, yeah, once every week, or maybe if you get, like, a second, you can just do it yourself. Anyway. Alright, that's been settings. That's it. If you guys want to see some other aim lab, aim Kovacs, training, aim trainers, settings for other aim trainers, fucking, let me know which one you want to do. You want aim beast? We can go over aim beast. You want, well, let's see, what what else exists? You guys want to see beat aim? I'll show you beat aim. You guys want to see aim academy? We could see aim academy.
But yeah, if there's other aim trainers you guys want to see, 3D aim trainer, let me know. We can go over them. Yeah, peace out.